Hey, Dave the Butterfly Guy here. Beautiful fall day in Minnesota. And today I'm gonna expand my butterfly garden for the fall so it's ready to go in the spring. I'm gonna be focused especially on my butterfly weed and uh, harvesting some of the seeds from that and then expanding it. Butterfly weeds this incredible pollinating flower. It's part of the milkweed family and monarchs love it. So I'm excited to really expand the amount of butterfly weed I have in my garden. Here's my butterfly weed. You can see that I've got all kinds of these pods here that are going to be really great to harvest. And so I'm going to just dig up some area out of this wild gr grasses in my backyard. And I'm going to just dig this up, put a little black dirt down, and plant a bunch of these seeds. And hopefully in the spring I'll have a lot more butterfly weed. All right, so I said I'm going to expand my butterfly garden and I really want to focus on adding more butterfly weed to my garden because that's the magic flower that is not only a host plant but also has these beautiful orange flowers. So I'm going to dig in. I put some compost down. I'm going to rake that out. I'm going to harvest some butterfly weed seeds and then show you how to plant those. So that's my next steps. So I have two spots I'm going to add butterfly weed. One on the left side of the entrance to my garden one on the right side and again I think that'll create this really beautiful entrance and hopefully uh, we'll have butterflies there so when people come to walk through the garden they've got these great flowers these great orange flowers I'm working hard to get compost to add to my garden. I didn't have enough, so I did add some black dirt. And again, I think it's really good to have a good foundation, good soil, black dirt, compost, add to it so all the nutrients are there for butterfly weed or milkweed to take off. Again, they are a weed, so they do pretty well in a lot of conditions. So I've just had one butterfly weed active in my garden. I planted it about three years ago. This year it flowered nicely, and now the pods are out in full force three years in. So I'm gonna harvest some of those. You can see in the background I do have a solar-powered butterfly. I think that gets me excited when I look out from the house. I can see that lit up at night. But So this is late in the fall. It's almost November in Minnesota. The common milkweed pods have already opened up and spread their seeds uh, but the butterfly weed it takes longer they're not quite as ready you got to wait for them to be brown so I've got a number of pods that I don't think are quite ready to go but I do have a couple of pods that are just starting to open they're brown so those are the ones I'm gonna harvest today and try and move forward and plant and so I'm gonna take one of those off and you can see that this one has started to split similar to the common milkweed just a little smaller and again i think there's some nice brown seeds in there that i'll be able to use nicely for today's planting so i've got one more pod here i'm gonna try and break this open and again try and grab it at the top peel those out and then just try and rake off some of the seeds here. Again, this wasn't quite as ripe as the other one or quite as far along, but the seeds are pretty brown, so they should be pretty good shape. Again, nature ends up with uh, giving these little snowflakes great opportunity to just kind of blow away so from that one little pot I probably got about 30 or 40 seeds here so I'm just gonna go ahead and plant those I'm gonna just put them about every six eight inches apart from each other about a quarter inch deep put a little loose dirt over the top of them and that should give these uh, butterfly seeds an opportunity to bloom So I just push them down with my finger, get them about a quarter inch deep.
I'm all done. I got more butterfly weed seeds planted, so I'm hoping next year I'll have much more butterfly weed in my garden, attracting more monarchs than ever. So for now, that's all I got. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out. Have a great day.